Is Nicki Minaj calling out her little sister? That's the question being asked after the head barb in charge had some harsh words for someone who made public comments about her. Nicki Minaj recently called out someone on a broadcast and rumors are swirling that she was speaking on her half-sister Ming Luanli, also known as Ming Li. Her words come after Ming Li's June appearance on the We in Miami podcast, where the 18-year-old aspiring rapper didn't shade her superstar sis, but told the hosts that they were never close and sometimes butt heads. Even though people think that we are not cool, we gonna argue, admitted Ming on the podcast. My sister do be getting mad at me, but siblings gonna fight. It's unclear what part of the interview seemingly pissed Nikki off, but she recently offered a terse response. Why would a person speak on a person they love? Why would a person speak openly about a private person? Why would a person do that? The Grammy-nominated rapper said, according to a video reposted by the Infospot on August 5. Who would you speak about in your interviews if someone wanted to interview you? Yourself, right? Nikki, 41, continued. It's always a bad sign if a person who is not even in your line of work, or who has never been successful in your line of work is doing interviews with people in your line of work. I think y'all think talent, like, you can catch it like a cold, or maybe you can pass it through the genes. Even with blood relation, what God has given to me, is mine. You have to discover whatever it is you're great at. Being a mooch and a clown don't run in my DNA. Ooh, a mooch and a clown. I would say... Nikki is going for the jugular. After she caught wind of the shady broadcast, Ming Li reposted a screenshot of Nikki's rant with a caption that read, I love you, sis. Ah, oh, Nikki, don't be so petty. This is your younger sister. You're the big sis. You're supposed to forgive and take her under the wing and groom and school her. You don't put her out to pasture for all these folks in the business to get their hands on her and twist her words and, well, not twist her words because she did say certain things. However, she loves her sister. She was being honest. They don't always get along because we know Nikki got a mouth. Let's face it. She was being honest. And Nikki got into her feelings. But girl, get over it. This is your little sister. This is blood. You take her under your wing and you groom her into the business because that's where she wants to be. She wants to be a singer. She later reposted the Nicki Minaj clip in question on Instagram and noted in the comments that she still has love for her big sis. I still love her, she wrote. I tried as a sister to please her, but I realize I gotta please God first cause only he can judge the gift he gave me. Exactly. Before you can please anyone else, you gotta please yourself. But first of all, the Almighty, then you, then whoever is coming after you. So Nikki, get over yourself, honey. It ain't that serious. So folks are coming for my girl, Taraji P. I'm telling you, they are not taking any prisoners. They coming after Taraji. They said her face looks all caught up, messed up, bumped up. In other words, she's doing something to her face. They're not sure what, but she's doing something. Because she's not looking the same, they say. She looks good to me, but clearly she don't look like the same Taraji. She should stop touching her face, Taraji P. Henson fans say, something is off, after actress appears unrecognizable in new photos. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars recently flocked to Paris to support Team USA at the 2024 Olympics, where American athletes dominated the competition, scooping up over 80 medals in just one week. After the competitions, fellow athletes and stars like Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade and Taraji P. Henson were seen having a fun night out with the athletes. Union shared a few moments from France on their social media page, including one that has fans zooming in on Henson's face. The two actresses attended the NBA Celebrate USA basketball party at the Team USA house in Palais Brongniard on August 5. However, Henson's appearance in the photos sparked curiosity among fans. I don't know if she's doing anything, but if you're doing anything, Taraji, stop right here. Stop right there, okay? We don't need for you to go no more further than where you at right now because we don't want you to get like Lil' Kim. Remember Lil' Kim? Go back and look at her face again and look at the original Lil' Kim. I don't know who that person is, but that is not Lil' Kim. That is a switch from Mars, okay? The five foot four, baby boy, actress is typically known for her stunning presence, but this time fans believe something was off. 
One user in Union's comment section asked, Auntie Taraj, is that you, sis? My sentiments exactly. That's what I'm asking myself. Is that you? Is that you, Taraji? Are you Taraji P or Taraji B? Because I don't recognize this person. Another responded in disbelief, writing, I know goddamn well that ain't Taraji. The comments continued with concern and confusion, with some speculating someone must have done something to the beloved, Empire, lead, with one asking, now, who is stressing Taraji out? That's a good question. And I would say probably maybe the plastic surgeon. Maybe you go ask the plastic surgeon that question. Because this looks like if she had something done to her face. Maybe it wasn't a scalpel. Maybe it was maybe Botox, some fillers maybe. Fans can rest assured that the photos might have been misleading, as Henson looked fantastic earlier that day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, this is not misleading. This is telltale. She was seen wearing the stylish black lace long sleeve jacket and short set with a PK boo bra, paired with cat eye sunglasses and Givenchy's shark lock stiletto sandal boots in 4G mesh, priced around $1,750. She also wore several pieces of blinged out neckwear, including a nameplate pendant reading, Taraji. As for Henson, any speculations about her being stressed may be unfounded. Despite the ongoing challenges of pay inequity in Hollywood or concerns about the upcoming presidential election, her social media presence suggests she remains unbothered. The Color Purple star often shares videos of herself working out in the gym or with a trainer. That working out don't have nothing to do with this face. This face got something to do with Botox and fillers. Well, you guys know I got to say allegedly because I don't want Taraji coming after me because my coins in long like that. Okay, I got a few, but not long coins. Okay, I don't have $40 million to sell to anybody. So this is all alleged. So at this point, I gotta say, if you're coming onto the page, hit the like bell and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you. But the last time her appearance sparked alarms online was in June of this year when she wore a gold scalp at Oscar de la Renta gown to the 2024 Tony Awards. Fans noticed Henson's shockingly thin figure after she posted images online, leaving many to question if the cause was from weight loss drugs, stress, or exercise. Oh my lord, leave the poor child alone. First y'all going after her face, now you after her figure. Listen, she was gaining some weight, now she lost some weight, you still not satisfied. I don't know what's wrong with Taraji's fans. I think she needs new fans because they cut it into this poor child like she ran off with their man. The Hustle and Flow is staying busy with multiple projects, including promoting her hair care line and new book, working with Howard University alumni for Kamala Call, and preparing for the new Peacock miniseries, Fight Night, the Million Dollar Heist, set to premiere on Sept. Set to premiere on September the 5th. So in other words, you guys can talk all the ish you want about Taraji. She making her coins. What are you guys doing? I'd love to know. I just commented on her face. I ain't saying nothing about her body, so don't throw me in the mitts. Don't drop it in my comment section that I said anything other than her face. Okay? The face is looking kind of young for Taraji, so she must have had something done. The series, which features a star-studded cast including Samuel L. Jackson, Kevin Hart, Don Cheadle, Terrence Howard, Chloe Bailey, and Lori Harvey, tells the story of a 1970 armed robbery of a swanky party in Atlanta on the night of Muhammad Ali's comeback fight against Jerry Corey. She also has two other projects about to start pre-production. Say what you want about the IG snaps, Henson is actually booked and busy, and sitting pretty. Booked and busy, sitting pretty and unbothered. Let's move on to the next person. Kanye West's former chief of staff is taking Yee's dentist to task. Oh, Lord have mercy. Kanye, can't you just stay out of the limelight for a second? Just for a second. Kanye West's former chief of staff is taking Yee's dentist to task, claiming the doctor has been supplying Yee with nitrous oxide for recreational use, but the dentist says the chief made up the allegations for attention. Milo Yiannopoulos, Yee's chief of staff for two years before departing the company earlier this year, submitted an affidavit to the California Dental Board claiming Yee's dentist, Thomas P. Connolly, provided Kanye with nitrous oxide for recreational use. I don't know. Kanye doesn't seem to me like a druggie. But then again, people can be deceiving. Kanye, if you're going down that road, brother, pick up a hobby. Do some knitting or something. But stay away from all drugs. It's not going to be good for you. 
Kanye's head is already in the cloud. Can you imagine if he gets on drugs? Oh my God. Milo says he talked about nitrous oxide nonstop in meetings, appearing in an inhaler mask consistently. His direction to staffers allegedly became incomprehensible and contradictory, and his mood unpredictable. Yiannopoulos claims Connolly provided the gas for cash, taking in upwards of $50,000 every month, even when the gas led to distressing signs from Yee, including addiction to the substance. A Yeezy employee saw Kanye self-administering, according to Milo, and he says it's unclear if anyone was using a regulator. Connolly's firing back, however, with his spokesperson telling TMZ he's denying all allegations leveled against him by Milo, calling the narrative not only factually incorrect but also intentionally misleading. Well, these allegations are so outrageous and so out there. If they're not true, I'm expecting somebody to sue somebody because these these are really serious allegations. And if there's no lawsuit in the making, then I got to look at this sideways. I got to say, well, maybe, just maybe it might be true if there's no lawsuit in the making. What do you guys think? Drop your comments. I'd love to know. TC's representative says Milo's making up these claims for attention and is attempting to maliciously damage Connolly's reputation in the process. Well, Connolly is a doctor. All you got to do is sue. You have this man coming after him, trying to destroy his good name, his good reputation, and he's just going to sit back and take it? Oh, no, no, no. He's got to do what all doctors would do if they're trying to save their good name. Get your lawyer and go after the person and sue for your good name. The Connolly camp ends its statement saying Connolly adheres to all ethical and legal standards and is committed to providing the highest standard of care to his patients and will continue to do so despite these unfounded attacks on his character and professional conduct. Milo's filed his affidavit with the Dental Board of California, hoping to get Connolly's license suspended. Well, he's hoping to get his license suspended, so I think Dr. Connolly got to be worried because it sounds as if someone got the proof where there's smoke, there's fire. Who else do we have on the docket tonight? Mr. Andale, Andale, E-I, E-I, oh, oh, you know who I'm talking about, that Nelly. How are you going to get arrested for ecstasy and you got a baby coming? Some of that money should have been in Pampers. As a matter of fact, all of it should have been Pampers money and formula. Arrest Nelly, arrested for ecstasy possession. 1.33 p.m. Pacific Time, the Missouri State Highway Patrol tells TMZ the incident occurred at 4.45 a.m. Wednesday. The agency has a gaming division, with troopers stationed at the Hollywood Casino in St. Charles. Nelly was asked to show his ID to police and his info was run for verification in accordance with Missouri Gaming Commission regulations. Police found Nelly had an active warrant for no insurance from a previous traffic stop conducted by Maryland Heights Police. Nelly was arrested for the active warrant, and he was searched. That's when four ecstasy pills were found on his person, according to the Highway Patrol. Now, folks, this is the part I couldn't even believe. I couldn't believe it. How are you going to be making all that money and you don't even have insurance on your car? Who does that? This is worthlessness. Nelly was arrested for the active warrant, and he was searched. That's when four ecstasy pills were found on his person, according to the Highway Patrol. Nelly was booked for felony drug possession and on a warrant for no vehicle insurance. Nelly was arrested early Wednesday morning for a couple offenses, possession of four ecstasy pills and not having insurance, according to online arrest records. The Hot and Hera rapper was busted in Maryland Heights, a suburb outside Street. Lewis, Nelly's hometown. It's getting hot in here, all right for Nelly, because let me tell you, brother, you don't want to be spending months in prison or jail with your child coming for Ashanti, because if you miss that delivery, I can tell you it's going to be a wrap for your marriage. I can tell you that right now. Take it from me. You spend time in jail and miss that delivery. It's a wrap. Nelly, government name Cornell Haynes, too was taken into custody at 4.45 a.m. Wednesday and booked at the Maryland Heights Police Department. He's since been released. TMZ obtained Nellie's mug shot, and his eyes appear bloodshot and he's mostly expressionless in a black hoodie, white undershirt and some bling. We reached out to Nellie's camp, as well as police. So far, no word back. There's not going to be any word back, period, because he was caught. What can he say? You got me. All right, you got me. Anyway, guys. That was dumb of Nelly. Come on now, Nelly. You know better. You're an old man. 
There's an old saying, age brings wisdom. And it looks like if your boy Nelly is still trying to find his wisdom. He got to grow a little older, I guess. Anyway, guys, and over and out, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.